good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Here I have a piece of EMT conduit. Uh, this is a galvanized steel tubing that is normally used for running electrical wiring through. And it provides good protection for electrical wiring in a typical uh, industrial environment. It's not really designed or intended for any kind of structural load-bearing or pressure-bearing applications. But this particular piece of it happens to be about the right size for a 12-gauge shotgun barrel. And so that got me wondering, if I made a barrel for the Jefferson out of this, would it give me a nice lightweight shotgun barrel, or would it just blow up? Let's start by doing a simple hoop stress calculation. If we take the internal pressure in a cylindrical pressure vessel, uh, and we multiply that by the ratio of the internal diameter to twice the wall thickness, uh, we can get an estimate of the stresses induced in the walls of the pressure vessel by the internal pressure. So, I believe the uh, industry standard pressure limit for 12 gauge is uh, 11,500 psi. But if I'm shooting light target loads, they're probably not going to generate anywhere near that. So to start with, let's guess about 8,000 PSI internal pressure. Um, we know that the inside diameter of a 12 gauge bore is going to be about 0.729 inches. And in this case, the wall thickness is right about 40 thousandths of an inch. So if we multiply that out, 8,000 times 0.729 divided by 2 times 0.04, I get uh, 72,900 PSI for the stress in the walls uh, when firing a light target load. Uh, I would assume that this is simply mild steel, and so it should have a tensile strength on the order of 50 to 60,000 pounds per square inch. So even with a light target load, we should see a rupture. You know, we'd expect a light target load to burst this based on simple hoop stress calculations. You know, of course, if we go up to the pressure limit, uh, Yeah, now we're looking at uh, almost 105,000 PSI, which is more substantially in excess of what I would expect the tensile strength of this material to be. However, if you recall our test of the 40 s and barrel that I made from a piece of plumbing pipe, all the calculations predicted that that thing should have blown itself to bits, and actually it worked just fine. So it appears that static pressure calculations or you know calculations like this that assume a quasi-static stress state are not really a good model of the highly dynamic loading scenario of something like firing a gun. Uh, anyway, just to get another data point, let's go ahead and make a barrel out of this for the Jefferson and see what happens. I started by machining a threaded insert that would fit the threaded receiver of the Jefferson. Then I welded the EMT tubing to the threaded insert. Reaming out the chamber completed the barrel. Well, here's our barrel. I machined a threaded adapter uh, that'll screw into the receiver of the Jefferson. I didn't bother to interrupt the threads here because for this initial test, that's really not necessary. Uh, it just makes it a lot faster for reloading if you can uh, rotate the barrel a quarter turn and pull it out instead of having to thread it all the way in and out. 
Uh, but I figure we can test it like this and if it survives the testing and works well enough that I think I'll actually ever use it again, then I can always come back and interrupt the threads later. Anyway, so threaded adapter. Uh, I succeeded in welding that to the tube uh, without burning through the walls of the tube. I thought that was a bit of an accomplishment. Uh, and then I went ahead and reamed out the chamber for a standard 12 gauge round. So let's go ahead and install this on the Jefferson and put it to the test. Well, our EMT conduit barrel seems to have survived the proof test perfectly intact. Uh, I did use a deliberate overload for the proof load, so we should have met or exceeded the industry standard maximum pressure, although obviously I don't have any way to actually measure that. Um, and yet, uh, measuring the outside of the barrel with a micrometer after the test, I found that it was exactly the same diameter that it was before the test. So not only did it not explode, as our calculations indicated it should have, uh, but it didn't even bulge. Uh, so once again, I think this serves to illustrate that quasi-static hoop stress analysis just is not a very accurate model of a highly dynamic loading scenario like firing a gun barrel. Uh, now, that said, is EMT tubing a good material for 12 gauge shotgun barrels? No, I'm not going to argue that. Uh, you know, there's certainly a possibility that over time the steel would fatigue and eventually it would rupture, but so far at least, it's held up better than we might expect based on simplistic calculations. So, uh, once again, I'm not recommending this as a material for shotgun barrels, but it is interesting what you can get away with when it comes to building guns from improvised materials, as it were. Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a few more shots with this, but until next time, Thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.